Hey guys, I gotta make this quick. I really wasn't planning on doing a video today, but got some good discussion topics I feel like to uh, to include, help y'all out. Uh, Landon and a few other guys have commented. I'll uh, make sure to comment or yeah, comment on the comments, maybe in the closing or whatnot. But anyway, because I don't have a lot of time, I want to try to leave. It's about 6:45 now, so I'm trying to make it to the gas station. But I want to do a quick intro. But so number one, uh, Hunter, uh, my college guy that's working for me basically full-time right now he's getting ready to start summer school uh soon so he won't be able to be available full-time you know throughout the summer maybe three days a week maybe sometimes four but anyway he just called out uh said he woke up with a fever and threw up throwing up in the shower which i believe him i mean honestly he's a good kid so i believe him but let me explain as to why it's so important you know especially once you get to a point like i am with so many customers and you know so many different types of jobs and i got some big property i got a lot of small properties but i also have a lot of fairly big properties that are hard to do by yourself so that's why obviously having another guy you know another full-time guy is so critical even though justin's been known to miss from time to time but i assume he's i assume he's gonna show up he hadn't uh, texted me uh that he wouldn't you know this morning or anything so i'm assuming he'll be at the gas station ready to go so yeah really important once you get your business established to a point where you have a whole lot of customers like i do that you have at least two guys because you want to avoid a situation like this where one calls out you just got to hope that they both don't call out if that makes sense obviously so yeah hopefully justin will be there uh i'm sure he will but but anyway yeah uh you want to have at least two guys, I think. I think it's good to have two guys when you have the amount of customers I have and uh, jobs to do. So you just don't want to get yourself in a pickle where you're mowing fairly big properties by yourself because that can really slow you down. You really need at least one guy to help you knock out certain size properties and whatnot. So yeah, consider that. Uh, number two, it's cloudy. As you can see, I thought it might be raining this morning when I got up, you know, because I'm always looking at the weather. I'm sure you are too. Always, always be keen and uh checking the weather the forecast and everything i mean honestly you know it seems like it changes all the time so you really got to be day by day uh kind of evaluating things when it comes to the weather and the situation with that uh if it's gonna rain or you know it's gonna be windy uh, cold warm all that kind of stuff so yeah it's important to be aware of the weather so uh I just checked it out, so it doesn't like it's not gonna be a all day rain event, but it looks like there may be some storms around ten o'clock. So I'm already, you know, thinking what am I gonna do if that happens? Because if it does, and if it rains hard, I'm gonna have to change my schedule up a little bit and do some other types of properties I can do when it's wet. So I'm already thinking in my head, you know, what what happens if it storms, you know, later this morning. So. I'm hoping to get off to a good start, uh, knock some properties out. I even got a few gutter jobs. I told a couple people that I would do, and I want to go ahead and knock those out. But I need to get those done before any rain comes, because if it's wet in those gutters, it's just a mess. You know, it's a mess. It's real messy, and it makes it harder to blow out. So I want to blow them out where they're dry. You know, obviously, you know, if I'm getting on the roof, especially. But, but anyway, y'all, yeah, be thinking about that. I just thought I'd throw those two things out there uh importance of having another guy if you have a, a lot of customers and uh similar to me that way you're not dependent on just one guy showing up so that and uh watching the weather you know making sure you're in tune to the weather around you and uh on a daily basis and it changes so yeah i'm hoping it won't rain if it does hopefully it won't rain very long but it looks like the uh the the forecast radar shows some storms in my area around 10 so i'm kind of planning ahead for that so yeah make sure you're doing that as well i think that's a good idea to uh make sure you're doing you know uh keeping in tune with the weather and uh, being able to plan and adjust accordingly but anyway y'all gotta get the gas station gassed up and uh get on the road and start knocking these yards out hope you're having a great day and i will comment on some of the comments later have a good one hey guys i'm at one of my commercial properties hopefully uh about to hear me well. I don't need one of those microphones, by the way. But anyway, it's got a good bit of edge in this particular property, so I'm not going to be edging it with a weed eater. I'm going to use my stick edge. Uh, first thing, obviously, I want to make sure I got a good blade on there, a good edger blade on there. It's okay, it was used yesterday a good bit, but I still got some usage out of it, so I'm going to keep it on there. I try to use it as much as I can before replacing it. But, but anyway, uh, 
few little quick pointers I want to point out. Uh, <clears throat> real quick before I get started, I get some footage of showing you the correct way of doing it. Make sure that when you're edging, that you're walking on the side of the concrete. That way you can kind of press up the blade against the curb, if that makes sense, or against the driveway. If you ever find yourself walking on the grass like this, you never want to do it like this. Okay, so if you ever find yourself walking on the grass up against the curb, uh, it's gonna make it harder, it's not gonna look as good. So always make sure you're walking on the concrete side. That way you can kind of press the blade itself slightly against the uh the curb or the uh the concrete itself so yeah that's something that i tell new guys you know when they're you know trying to teach them how to edge correctly make sure you're walking on the concrete and pressing that blade slightly up against the curb so it's a nice straight clean edge yeah i'll get some footage of me doing it the correct way Hey guys, y'all saw me just pick up that, that golf club. I mean, I literally, that wasn't placed there, I promise you that. Uh, yeah, it surprised me. That's why you get, you really have to be really careful and aware of your surroundings when you're mowing because you never know what you're gonna run up on. I mean, if this thing would have uh, ran up in my mower and that's my new laser, yeah, I'm trying it out today on these yards and whatnot I used yesterday. But yeah, that could have caused a problem, you know, for sure. So it definitely would have, possibly bent the blades up pretty good and you know who knows if it got slung out you know so it could have caused some damage so yeah make sure you're always paying attention you never know what you're gonna come across maybe a a golfer this is a part three so i'm assuming somebody got mad it's an eight iron yeah so i'm assuming somebody got mad on the uh, tee box and slung their club over here but anyway y'all yeah always be paying attention and be aware of surroundings and the ground when you're mowing just thought i'd throw that out there
Hey guys, hope you all had a good day. Got my son in the background getting ready to go to a soccer game. He's a big time soccer player. I think he scored like 16 goals in the last two games. <laughs> but he also likes football a lot. Yeah, yeah. I was proud of him. He uh, said, the announcements, said the announcements today at school. So yeah, I was proud of him for doing that. I was really shy growing up, really quiet. So the idea of me doing that at his age, I couldn't have done it. I would, uh, yeah, broke down and froze up. But anyway, yeah, proud of him for doing that. I uh, love my son. But anyway, he's a really good athlete. Wants to play football, too. And I feel like he could be a good football player, too. We'll see. See this fall. Um, I can convince my wife to let him play. But anyway, yeah, we'll see what happens there. But yeah, y'all, a uh, great day. I'm getting ready, to, uh, getting ready for tomorrow, actually. Right now, I'm filling up my tank. Uh, not all the way. I'm going to probably put about 200 gallons in it. Picked up a new uh, spray account. Uh, actually, today, I went by there Sunday and looked it over at the church and uh, uh, gave the guy a prize. He finally texted me back today and let me know he, he wanted me to go ahead and get started. So he also wants me to aerate the yard. I told him 160 to aerate and fairly small yard. Not a very big yard. So, yeah, I feel like that'd be a good little you know, money maker. It'd be pretty profitable for me to aerate the yard, too. So, yeah, I'll probably spray it tomorrow and uh, maybe fertilize next week and uh probably end up aerating and fertilizing at the same time but, but yeah uh good day today justin showed up i knew he would luckily uh since hunter was sick and whatnot so uh, me and justin can really get a lot done got together he's really good at what he does uh, although i do have to tell him sometimes to slow down because he does get you know carried away and tends to go really fast at times but he does a good job and it's been kind of a up and down relationship over the years but overall he's done a good job this year he's done really well so i'm proud of him but yeah me and him we can knock out a lot of work together just me and him one truck so yeah we had a really good day got done around five and i ended up going up uh picked up a new customer i told you i would i told you i replaced that lady pretty quick so he only he's an older man and we got to talking for a while you know how the older people can be you know as far as talking he talked for a good 20 30 minutes about all kinds of stuff but anyway yeah so he only wants it done once a month, which I told him is fine. It's real shady, a lot of trees in the yard, so the grass doesn't really grow too fast. And it's pretty close to my house, so I told him I could just come by you know, in the evening or whatever after I drop the guys off and just knock it out by myself. Probably take me 30 minutes by myself and I told him 65. So yeah, normally I told him, I was like, look, normally I'd probably charge 55, you know, uh, if it's every two weeks, but since you're only wanting it done once a month, uh let's mop it up to 65 and he understood that so yeah i'll probably end up starting to mow it in the coming weeks so that'd be good i'll just knock it out uh, when i'm at my you know uh, when i'm done kind of close to my house so yeah i can knock it out when i'm on my way back back home for the day but i uh, got my walker back my c19 that's been in the shop for a while now i uh, had an electrical issue i think they replaced I forget the name of it, but it was like 300 bucks, man. I mean, just for the part, some kind of amp deal. Uh, I can't think the name of it. I forgot. I read it earlier, but <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, pretty expensive. But luckily, uh, it's fixed and uh, starting like it's supposed to and all that kind of thing. So really needed it. They were planning on, they were planning to fix the, the, the lift, the dump, the automatic dump uh, on the, uh, the mower itself, you just got a little button here that you can press, but and it had been in there for a couple of weeks. So I finally called them up and asked them what was going on. They were like, well, we were waiting on these parts to fix the lift for the uh, dumping the grass or whatever. And I was like, man, I, it's, it's no big deal, really. I really didn't need it. Uh, so, yeah, I went ahead and just picked it up because I really need it, need it for tomorrow especially. So, yeah, I got the C19 on my spray truck, and I'll put a, a laser on it as well uh, tomorrow. So I need to have a good day tomorrow. Hunter should be fine, ready to go, hopefully. And Justin will be another truck. But yeah, y'all, really good day. Can't complain. God bless us with a good day. Luckily, it didn't rain. I thought it was going to rain. It sprinkled, but it didn't rain hard or stormy like that, so it didn't shut us down for an extended period of time. But I uh, uh, wanted to answer a question that Landon had. Landon, I uh, hope you're watching uh, tonight when I put the video together and post it. I think you'd asked, when do you know it's time to quit your job and start doing it full time. I would say, and I'm sure other people would agree, once you start making enough money mowing, you know, to, to replace the income that you have coming in now with your full time job, or at least pretty close, then I would consider it. But until you get to that point, I wouldn't would not consider doing that. Or at least at least make enough money to, you know, cover your 
everyday expenses and bills and whatnot. I'm not, obviously, I'm not, I don't have any idea what that is. Only you know that. But, yeah, as long as you're making enough mowing to cover your expenses and, uh, you know, just to live on, yeah, then I could I could see you making the jump. But until that happens, I would stay I would stay at that job, especially if it has good benefits. I mean, if you're working for the VA, I'm assuming they have good benefits and all that kind of thing, too, to go on with good pay. So, yeah, I would be hesitant about doing anything until you built up uh, your client base enough to uh, justify doing so and going full time. So, yeah, that would be my suggestion. I think that makes, you know, I think that's pretty good logic. Uh, it makes sense. So, yeah, that's what I would suggest to do if you're really serious about you know, wanting to do lawn care full time. So yeah, man, I uh, hope that's helpful. Uh, curious guys, uh, before I forget, I, I just thought of it. I wanted to make sure I asked. I need to order some weed eater string and I typically use the steel yellow. It's the, uh, I guess, square variety. It's not the, it's not the uh, circle or the rectangle or whatever. It's the square kind and uh, I like it, but I also like the black diamond. Uh, I'm curious, any of y'all have any suggestions on the weed or string, what you order from Amazon? Because I, I, I was actually looking earlier and didn't see any black diamonds, so curious if there's a particular brand that you recommend that you like that, 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 uh, that does a good job. Uh, if you would, just let me know what you think. But anyway, y'all, uh, like I said, great day today. I uh, hope you're having a good day and good week so far and making some money. And uh, I'll be doing a video tomorrow, so I'll get another video put together tomorrow. And uh, uh, plan on talking to you later. Have a good one, y'all. Take care.